her number. We might as well just be direct and ask her where she is. She seems like the type of person who appreciates a straight approach. Yep, this is just GPT. You see it, a thing, and then... Okay, got it. She's at the museum. Let's get going. We better think about what we're gonna say. She might be young, but she is an IPC executive. She's definitely no pushover. Oh, thank you for the teleport. There you are. They're big, big numbers. Oh, it's you two again. This is the third time today we've run into each other. Oh, did my smart reply function tell you where I was? It's a system developed by the technology department. Pretty neat, right? What do you make of this painting? I'm no expert, but just from the artist's strokes, I can tell it's no ordinary piece. It portrays a certain kind of uh, sorrow, you know? Not your everyday kind of sadness. It runs much deeper than that. It's as if the artist had condensed history into one poignant but sorrowful image the artist's brushwork depicts a generation's no several generations hardships not at all the analysis of an aficionado i wouldn't take my word for it the express has visited many worlds i'm sure the nameless have a far greater knowledge of such things than myself i suppose what i'm trying to say is what i'm drawn to isn't the style in which a piece is painted but its overall value its intrinsic value may only be fifty thousand credits but its added value might push the total up to two hundred thousand she's a gold digger uh, sorry for crashing your artist party but we came to talk to you about something else no oh? collaboration between our two sides perhaps not exactly actually we let's walk and talk this way most exhibits in this museum are of little value but with a keen eye it's possible to find a diamond in the rough so to speak miss topaz Branya's already told us about Bellabog's debt situation. Oh. You two are closer than I expected with her. So, how can I help? Not sure in the arrangement, or... We, uh... Help me out here. You know I'm not good at this kind of thing. I just want to pick this one just because Sometimes I'm really tempted to just pick the worst one just to see the reaction But I cannot take this that sometimes I'm serious and sometimes no So I'm gonna take make it this year <laughs> You're so direct I like that I understand from your point of view, I can see how unreasonable it appears. However, you must understand that debt collection is a big part of my job. 
I've dealt with cases far more difficult than Bellabog's. I appreciate each case has its difficulties, but if I treated every late debtor as a special case, the galaxy's economy would come to a grinding halt. The Strategic Investment Department is well-versed in handling such situations. We can offer the debtor various repayment solutions, but Urilla 6 has far exceeded the allotted repayment period. I'm afraid milder solutions aren't the order of the day. So, I propose to Branya. Oops, oh, almost gave away trade secrets there, didn't I? Oh, that was a close one. Uh, the exhibits here are pretty ordinary. I estimate they're probably not worth much. Uh, let's keep moving. So you're basically saying the Bellabogians must pay off their ancestors' debt. When you think about it, it's just another part of the cycle of life. Uh, I'm not sure it's as poetic as that. <gasps> wow, look! Is that little critter native to Urillo 6? <sighs> it's so white and fluffy. <laughs> Where can I find a live one? That's a teddy bear. I suppose it probably is. Otherwise, it wouldn't be on display here. That's such a shame. I absolutely adore little animals. Have you guys met Numbi yet? I guess they're off playing somewhere. We just saw him. So, Miss Topaz, what exactly will it take for the IPC to go easier on Bellabog? Branya invested so much just to make this world a little better. And now... It feels like all of her efforts will be undone in the blink of an eye. It's just so cruel. <laughs> what do you take the IPC for, Miss March? We're just the same as Bellabog's architects. We're all followers of the preservation. No matter what solutions we propose, we will always take the welfare of the people of Bellabog into consideration. Otherwise, we'd be no different from the Legion, would we? So you're saying there's nothing to worry about? But Branya... Don't worry yourself too much. The Supreme Guardian is a wise person. She'll understand. But to answer your question directly, it'd take a miracle. I'll complete the Arillo 6 project no matter what obstacles I encounter. Oh boy, she's gonna be a boss fight, isn't this she? This isn't going as planned. What should we do? I wouldn't waste too much energy on this matter. Why not make the most of the festive atmosphere? Oh, looks like one of my colleagues is after me. My apologies, but I should probably take this. Bye! So, what now? We spent ages trying to convince her and she didn't move an inch! But she'll be really disappointed. I guess Miss Topaz is just doing her job. And as far as the Express is concerned, I think it'd be unwise to make the IPC our enemy. All these vested interests. It's so hard to undo any of it. They teach this stuff in school. Oh, wait, did I even go to school? Did someone send you a message? Huh? Oh, hello, Sheila. Oh, I can bet who are the uh, rascal one. Huh? 
huh? The IPC are causing trouble in the underworld? Already? Uh, seriously? Topaz was just talking about taking the welfare of the people of Bellabog into consideration. Oh, and now they're pulling this stunt? You really can't trust these money-hungry IPC suits for a minute! Oh, again? I don't think I have it in me to play the hero today. You can play the princess, you are up to date. Complaining won't get us anywhere. Let's go lend them a hand. Zila! Hey! Am I glad to see you two here? I'm not sure how much longer we can hold out. It's bad. Really bad. Their weapons and automatons are much stronger than anything we have. Nobody's been seriously hurt, but a few Wildfire members got minor injuries. Fortunately for us, it seems like they were holding back. You see those two in black? They've been guarding the mine entrance. They're not letting anyone in or out. Hey! Just because you have fancy equipment doesn't mean you can bully us. Who do you think you are? What's the matter? Got nothing to say? What's going on inside the mine? Any ideas? Wait a minute, when did she change clothes? A few miners made it out earlier. They looked pretty panicked. They said the whole mine had been seized by the people in black. These uninvited guests keep talking about asset evaluation, whatever that means. All I know is that they're seriously disrupting the lives of the Underworlders. Uh, who? We were just talking to her in the museum. Do you think her cronies are acting without her authorization? The person you're talking about... Are they in charge of the people in black? Potaz, Pazto, whatever her name is, she can wait. Right now, the most important thing is to free those trapped in the Great Mine. Are you two with me? Hey, you two! Cat got your tongue or something? If you knew what was best for you, you'd get out of my way. You guys must be exhausted standing here all day. How about you take a little lunch break? I'm sure the IPC allows that, right? What's their deal? You two were talking to the director in the Snow Plains. Uh, so it's you! You're the one who was threatening to take us out in the Snow Plains! Uh, do you even know who you're talking to? If your boss knows to treat us with respect, you'd better start showing some yourself. I can't let you pass. My team leader said that if anyone gets through, I'll lose six months of performance bonuses. Team leader? <laughs> You're even lower on the pecking order than I thought. Sh shut up! I spent seven years on a forsaken asteroid preparing to join the IPC. I went through 17 interviews before they finally hired me. What right do you deadbeats have to criticize me? Deadbeat? Really? <laughs> IPC? Interviews? I don't know what you're rambling on about, but you're really testing my patience. No need to waste our breath on this idiot. Let's do this. That way we're gonna fight our new enemies. All will be revealed. In lunar flame. Nah, unworthy. Trust me. Blade of Moonlight. Can I have fun?
fun this time. Time for a buzz. <laughs> That's it? He sure took off quickly. Ugh, 17 rounds of interviews and these are the best people they can find? <laughs> what a joke. Ugh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I've been warned that the ones in the mine won't go down without a fight. <sighs> let's set off when you're ready. Ready for action? It's time to kick the IPC out of the underworld. Let's get moving. Oh, hello. Wait, is this a robot or uh, one in a maker? Hello, it's Mr. Sparog, isn't it? And this cute little girl must be Clara. Oh, boy. Eva. Uh, hello, miss. Are you... I'm Topaz. I've come to have a chat with Mr. Sparog. Clara, go inside and wait for me. Huh? But if you have a guest, maybe I should... She is not a guest. Neither is she a friend. Go, Clara. Everything will be fine. Oh, it seems my source was right. Who would have thought that such a strong bond could exist between a giant robot and a little girl? <sighs> so heartwarming. You bear the insignia of the Interastral Peace Corporation. What is your motive for coming here? <laughs> Straight to the point, huh? I like your style. Urillo 6. Are robots familiar with that term? Anyway, it refers to the planet we're currently standing on. It's about to become the property of the IPC. Oh no one can reverse this outcome. Not you, not the nameless, nor any power in the galaxy. I only care about one thing right now. Demonstrating to the shareholders of the IPC that Urillo 6 can generate value. In the long run, this is a way, the only way, to ensure Bellabog's long-term interests. I need your help to achieve this goal. Hey, is she gonna become the best guy of this story? I don't say Svarag. No, oh, but he's gonna be... Oh, you're gonna use Svarag as the final boss, aren't you? Long-term interests undefined. Analyzing objectives. Analysis failed. Tell me, Emissary, how do you plan to convince the IPC leadership? That's simple. I'll show you. What do you say? This is... Source code. Or, to be more precise, source code that is able to take control of all mechanized units in Bellabog. Oh, boy. He's at I'm sure you're familiar with this. All mechanized units manufactured in Bellavog over the last 700 years utilize the underlying systems created by the IPC. The code is so refined that the engineers never saw any reason to change it. I assume you're also aware that there was once a large automaton factory in the underworld. Thousands upon thousands of automatons, enough to crush the Legion's vanguard, lay dormant within. This is my bargaining chip for negotiating with the higher-ups. I'll convince them that Urillo 6 has a place in the company's long-term strategies. But first, I need a guide to show me where these automatons are buried. I understand. Your long-term interests can be defined as the survival of civilization at a macro level. What are your intentions for the people currently living here? Their future has already been purchased. All I can do is make them accept this fact. 
using a relatively peaceful approach. I understand. I will assist you with your plan. Oh, so you're not as stubborn as the rumor suggest. The future you speak of is beyond my computational range, but my emotional analysis indicates that you are indeed trying to find ways to ensure the survival of this world. Additionally, calculations indicate a 96.4% probability of compliance through force if I refuse to cooperate. <laughs> Your calculations are slightly on the conservative side. Here's to our future cooperation. If you wouldn't mind leading the way, Mr. Sparag. I'll play with gonna face Vag again. <laughs> <laughs> 